Welcome to this video on creating categories in Microsoft Outlook. This will help you really manage your emails. It will allow you to group things together, categorize things as needing action or waiting on information and things like that, or just to help you categorize different things from different projects if you're working across a lot of different pieces of work and they just get lost in a sea. It's really helpful and really useful. Please be aware I'm using the new Outlook on a PC, a Windows device. You can see the new Outlook toggle there in the top right hand corner. If you're using a different version or if you're on a Mac, it may look and feel a little bit different, but categorize is usually there on most of the different types of application. It just may look and feel a bit different and you may be missing a couple of bits of functionality. The new Outlook on the desktop is very similar to the online version as well. So let's have a look at adding some categories in. I've got nothing in here at the moment. There's a couple of different ways I can do this. I can just right click on an email to categorize it and then I can manage them from there. Or you can actually see the categories or the little tags are right at the top as well. So let's click on that drop down arrow. And I can see all of the standard categories that have been added. They're not really going to help me massively at the moment unless I know what the colours mean to me. I can add a new category or I can manage categories. So let's go in and manage so you see what that looks like. So if I just open this a little bit more so you can see exactly what's going on here. And remember, like I said, I'm using the new Outlook desktop version, which feels very similar to the online version. So if you're on the online version of Outlook, it's going to look very similar to you. So here on the right hand side, I've got all of my categories, like the ones that came up on the drop down list. I'm going to edit these so, and add some new ones, maybe because they just they don't mean anything to me right now. And you can see against all of those different color categories, you've got three icons, you've got a pencil, which is going to allow you to edit. You've got a rubbish bin, which is going to allow you to delete them. And then because I'm on the new version of Outlook, I've got a star, which will allow me to favorite them. So I can go and access them really, really easy. Depending on what version of Outlook you've got, you might not have that functionality, but you should have the other functionality that I'm going to cover in today's quick video. So let me edit the blue category. Blue is one of my favorite colors. And let's call this Project Paris. And you can see I've got all of my color options to play around with there. I can even favorite it on this screen, but I'm not going to at the moment. I'm just going to click Save. So Project Paris is now down there. If I want to create a category instead, I can create a brand new one and just put Waiting on more. Let's just say waiting on instead of waiting on more detail. It's a long category to call it. This I can use this if I want to tag something to say I can't action it yet, but I want to, but I'm just waiting on some more detail. So let's put that as a green and click on save. You can see I've got waiting on there. That's a different color. It's actually bolded out, bolded out. There's a color within the little tag or the little category. So you can see how it will look nice and different for you. Let's also just get rid of some of these by using that little rubbish bin. So you can see here, if you have used a category in the past, then it's going to give you a quick warning to say that it's going to remove that category from those emails, but it's not going to delete them. It's just going to remove that category. So it's up to you whether you want to delete it or not. I'm going to click on cancel because I've obviously used that one before. I've used purple as well. So I'll cancel on that one. So there's a few options there for me to play around with, which is quite useful. So I'm going to favorite waiting on. So let's just favorite that one. Click on the little favorite. And then I'm just going to come out. Remember, I don't have to save anything. It automatically saves it. So I'm going to click on the cross. And now you can see I, in the left hand corner, in the favorite section, because I favorited waiting on, it's there. But the blue one, the one, the Project Paris one, I didn't favorite it. So it's not there. It's not in that section. So favoriting is really useful because you can create new, quick, almost like folders in the top section 
where you can add specific emails. And you don't need to worry about them being from all different sort of people and different projects and things. You've just categorized them in the way and the group together in that categorization, which might be really, really useful for you. You can always pull them into folders as well. You can move them around, you can delete them, you can archive them, but they'll still say, you can't delete them actually, but you can archive them. But they'll still say in that categorization until you take that categorization off. So let's have a look at how to actually categorize our emails. I've got one from Donna Sugarman here. I'm just going to right click on it and I'm going to select categorize. I'm just going to hover over it. Don't even have to click. If I've got a ton of categories, that's a useful word to get out <laughs> nice and early in the morning, then I can do a search or I can just look at my drop down and I'm going to put that in waiting on. So that's now got the category on it and I can see it there, it's labelled as well. So just remember to label it nice and accurately so you know exactly what's going on. Let's put this more, this Viva one into Project Paris. So you can see, again, there's a difference there, you can see that one. And if I want to take that categorization off, just right click, categorize and clear all categories. You can even put multiple ones on there as well, which might be quite useful. But let's just have a quick look in our waiting on section. And you can see now I've got that email in there. If I go back to my inbox and take that off, find that one that's got it on it. There we go, further down, it was hiding away from me. If I right click and get rid of that category, so I can either click on it to remove it or just clear all. And now if I go into waiting on there, there'll be nothing there. So this is really useful to help you group some of your emails together. Maybe not such as, as what they're about, but what you are doing with them. So are you waiting on things? Do you need to action them? Do you need to send them to someone else? Just Do you just need to read them? So your categories might work really nicely for you. And if you're on a newer version of Outlook or you're on the web version, you may be able to favorite them as well, in which case then you're going to have some nice options and your favorites to just be able to navigate straight to any of those emails that you've categorized so you can help manage them and you can help be much more productive with your emails. So definitely one to play around with and have a go at to see how that works well for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.